Good morning YouTubians, it's Kermit's Ghost. It's a different type of video today. I'm giving a tutorial of how I film and edit using what equipment I have. Don't have a lot of equipment, but what I do is very handy. For example, I'm using a GoPro camera at the moment and I will film myself filming this so you can see what it is. And I've got attachments like this. I'm actually gonna film my Disney collection today and show you how I piece it all together. So the camera I use is a GoPro Hero Black. It's capable of filming in 4K, has a built-in stabilizer. I use a 128 gigabyte micro card for memory and it has rechargeable batteries. I have a metal outer casing. I use a rubber handled grip and I always take a lens cover with me. I've attached the rubber handle to the casing and you can see the camera is almost set up. All we need now is external microphones. So I've plugged in a GoPro attachment here, which enables you to either plug in an external microphone or an extra battery pack. Well, I have two microphones. I have a lapel microphone and a fixed microphone. This is the lapel microphone. You've probably seen this in my out and abouts. And this one is a fixed microphone, which you probably never see because I use this on the tripod and it never gets in shot. And this is an attachment for the iPad, which I use to transfer files from the SD micro card onto the iPad itself. This is one of the GoPro attachments. This is called a gooseneck. You can grip this onto bookcases, onto cars. I use this quite a lot in the car, on the dashboard or the roof mount. It's very handy if you want to take a stable shot of a film that's on the bookcase. You can just attach it there. They're very manipulative. You can bend it in all different ways. I shall show you now. I can bend it down just the camera. And there, it's got a steady shot straight off the movie. So when I'm not using a tripod, I use a monopod. I have two of these, both different heights. This one is collapsed, the other one is fully extended. And you can see they are very sturdy, oddly enough. You would think they wouldn't be in one legged and all, but no, very sturdy indeed. Just pop a camera on the top of that and it is good to go. So there is my tripod. I'll use that in a conclusion of my out and about in a static position. Now my lights, I do have a ring light, but I don't use that anymore. I've got these two. I've got them in position of landscape and portrait just to show you they are adjustable. What you do is just remove them on this clasp at the back and adjust them to whichever one you want, portrait or landscape. And they're very adjustable in height as well. They can go down so the light is three feet from the ground or up as high as eight feet. They're from a company called Spectrum, which is in Australia, and I will show you what they look like on in just a second. So as luck would have it, it's quite grim outside, so I'm gonna put one of the lights on, ready to film the Disney collection. That's one of the lights, so I can just reach over and get to the second one now. Pop that one on, there it is. So ready to film. Hopefully I can film this in one go and show you the editing process a little bit further on. So regarding the lighting, I would say it's an essential piece of kit. If you can afford to get lighting, get it. I went for probably a couple of years with no lighting at all and then a ring light and now I'm onto these. It does make a big difference. You can see in the background how dark the image is and when you put the light on it, it makes so much difference. Uh, thanks to my wife for buying these because I'd probably still be using my ring light. And you can see the difference here. It's almost as if you're filming in daylight. Okay, so this stage I've already downloaded all the clips onto the iPad. There's quite a few of them and now I'm looking for which ones to select to edit. That one, 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 and that one. So we're going to now add them to the movie program, which is just literally one button and it lines them all up in order. So now I've got to scroll through and try and find the beginning and add them all together, erasing bits that I don't want. So photograph, first of all, choose my start that's me there that was made by my daughter there disable the ken burns so it doesn't scroll about shorten the video and then start it see if it works all right there so scroll along see i'm gonna start this and here we go good morning youtubians it's kim it's ghost today i'm going to video my blu-ray collection so obviously not happy with that bit of clip. I'm gonna re-record it and see if I can do a little bit better. I usually do an intro about six or seven times and try and pick the best one from the bunch. This is for editing purposes. Good morning, YouTubians, it's Kermit's Ghost. Today I'm gonna to make a different type of video. Someone's asked me if I could show how I film and then edit and then upload video using what equipment that I use 
through various situations. So I'm actually going to film. So thinking about it, clip number two, probably not going to happen. So move along until I find one that I like. And usually it's the last one that I film. So here we go again. Good morning, YouTube. Well, this is, this is probably the clip I'm going to use. I'm going to try and line it up now. So get rid of that little clip there and the earlier one and then just line it up so it's straight after the intro. Good morning, YouTubians. It's Kim. It's Ghost. It's a different type of video today. I'm giving a tutorial of how I film and edit using what equipment I have. don't have a lot of equipment, but what I do is very handy. For example, I'm using a GoPro camera at the moment and I will film myself filming this so you can see what it is. And I've got attachments like this. I'm actually going to film my Disney collection today and show you how I piece it all together. So that will do. All I need to do now is trim the end off and show you how I piece it all together. So I just find where I finished talking, cut it, delete it. Now I want to add in a chapter so I will get a blank photograph there. Press the plus, it drops it down between the next two clips. Add in a fade just there and then i want to add in some text so i select the text bar which is down below all very simple it was all right in front of you i select which type of text i want and this one i particularly want is reveal which is one i usually choose just edit it and then add in the text that you want no it's spelled that wrong uh, equipment i'm after select equipment i use And then add. And that should all be in there now. I piece it all together. Equipment I use. And then just shorten that a little bit. And as this next chapter is called Equipment I Use, I want to bring in some other clips. So select videos that I've recently added like there. And then it'll pop up. And then you just select which one you want. And this particular one, I want to show you the GoPro. I'll add that now. So with that clip added, I will just line it up now, see if it all fits in nicely. And if it does, then I shall bring in some more clips. I will probably do a closer shot of that because that's uh, quite far away, but that looks okay to me. Yep, so line that up, bring in some more clips. Easy as that, just highlight, press plus, and they all drop down in a row, exactly where you want them. So there are eight clips I want to bring down here, talking about the camera, the camera casing, the microphones, what I use to upload onto YouTube. And there it is, that's all of them in place. Just need to edit maybe the, the length of these videos. Just slide it backwards and forwards. It's like a trombone, you can either lengthen or shorten the video. The little bow tie symbol there in between the two clips is a transition choice. I've just taken it away so there's no transition at all, just straight into the next clip. Or you can put in a star fade there, which really doesn't make much of a difference. In fact, I have to check that twice, see if it's actually in there. Nope. Or you can put in a fade, a bit like a Star Wars thing, where it goes from one side to the other. Or even more of a fade, which looks the same to me. And here's another fade. You can actually add sound effects to these as well, but uh, I usually just go for the plain old fade from one shot to the other where it almost overlaps on the picture. And sometimes you can't tell at all if there is a cut. I mean, I just did one right there. Don't know if you picked that one up. Anyway, now we're going to try and enlarge the picture. So we're going to pinch the image and stretch it. I've done that purposely too far so you can't see the SD card. But we'll see, we'll put it back in just a second. So there's the GoPro and the battery. And then realizing there's no SD card in the frame. I have to re resize it, readjust it. And there it is. So it's all a case of trial and error, trying to get things in shot and trying to get uh, voiceovers to match the shots as well. And trying to get the clip to the right length and the transition as well. So I filmed this two minute clip of the start of the Blu-ray collection. Look, I've pulled this video out. I'm going to push it back in. You saw the light there as well. So that's no good. So that's all going to have to be edited out. And I'm going to add in a silly voice and talk about the wrong video right now. So the first one's going to be Bugs Life. Oh, I love this film. Oh, it's so nice. And you so that was for the purpose of this video. I'm going to take it back to the start of that clip. Remove all the audio and volume 
there that's gone now so now we can start the editing process take it to where just take the video out delete the first part of the clip that's gone put in a transition there so we have the video sliding out I will probably put in a bit of audio over the top pause it there split the video put in a transition move it along so I'm going to pull out Bugs Life right there split get rid of the center bit this cuts out a lot of time on video as well. There it is, nice transition. So it looks like a smooth shot. At the end, I think you do see the, the, the light again there. So that's gonna be edited out. And I'll show you the final clip now. So here it is, Toy Story with the lighting, close up as well edited out all the silly voice and Bugs Life minus the lamp at the end. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.